This is my first time driving a Mustang. So, you being honest, and that's always, honesty is always the top policy. So, Give us some gas. So, what happened was, Harvey, Cliff here, who's been with us for two days, is like, this is my first Mustang. Driving it. So immediately Tim went into edit mode, which I appreciate for, for all that. What you have to do, when you start a classic Mustang, it's not like a brand new car. Okay. He's a little bit of a tuner, which is good for our modern Mustangs. Did you give it a little gas, like this one pump? Now turn the gas. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta work the gas. You gotta, you gotta feel the car. You gotta feel the car. In 1965, they were feeling the car. No computer driven stuff. So back it up a little bit and kind of, kind of hard right. All right, don't, don't worry, Harvey. Your car's in good hands. Sure, he's 20 years old, but he's a Marine, and guys starting, he's in intelligence, and that's all we can say. So he's a smart guy. He's picking up welding like no tomorrow, which I'm very happy about. And he, we're pulling. Carlos is directing. That's good. So what we're doing with we're doing, what we're doing with Harvey's car. A license plate vibrating. What we're doing with Harvey's car is we're going to wash her and he's going to take her out for a drive. He's going to pick her up on Saturday. Oh, look, at Car look at Carlos. Look at Carlos. Look at Carlos. Look at Carlos. Carlos, stop over directing. Ah, Are you happy? All right, there you go. <laughs> Harvey's 1966 Frankenstein. We say that with the utmost respect, though, and it's because she has Maverick parts in her. Yes, no, no. My brother-in-law is driving me a little crazy. Can you tell? <laughs> um, he's gonna. We're gonna wash the car up for him, make it all pretty. He's gonna come pick it up on Saturday. He's gonna drive her and drive her. I'm gonna do some investigation of what's a good asking price for his car. If anybody wants to make an offer, do it. He's on the fence about whether he's gonna sell or not right now. There's some certain situations that are personal to him, family situations that is confidential. But that car might sell. And the only thing Frank is saying about it now is those uh, spindles which is a couple hundred bucks per spindle, rotors and calipers, and you could set it up bone stock again. It's, it's a very clean, excuse me, it's a very clean 66 Mustang. So if you guys want to make an offer on it, you can't refuse, do it now. He's on the fence, and uh, Carlos is going to watch him. And she's out of here. Take the frustration out of restoration. So you say it only has surface rust? Really?